Tubers, Jim Bobway here with a review of the Halo Mega Constructs Hijack Ghost set from 2020. This is a smaller set in the new Halo Infinite line. It comes with one vehicle and four separate figures. Even the grunts are unique from each other, so we're going to get a look at those figures first, then check out the ghost. Each figure comes with a dark green figure plate to help him stand up. This is the first one, this is the Spartan Anubis. So I'm guessing that's the armor variant right here. He, he's um, in dark olive green. He's got plenty of different prints, I mean, well, paints on the helmet there. So you have the dark orange kind of visor, then you got the black and even a little bit of gray in there and the dark olive green there. He's got uh, good molding on that chest plate there, showing maybe some kind of uh, ammo pouches or possibly extra little armor bits. Then he has a belt down here with what could be grenade or rocket ammunition for, say, a grenade launcher of some sort. Has some Mark VI shoulder pads, which I think always look good. I think Mega does a great job at making those Mark VI shoulder pads. You can see the back there, a little bit of a butt plate there. Thigh armor too, and the forearms and the legs are in a kind of grayish tan color there. And he comes with a black UNSC assault rifle in the Halo Infinite design, so similar to Reach. And the ammo counter is removable. If you didn't want to have an ammo counter, you could probably put a sight on there too, maybe a scope. Let's move on to the next one. This figure is labeled as the Brute Warrior. He comes with some nice silver metallic armor. He has that separate helmet that is removable. So if you wanted to just have him be helmetless, he does have that Craig face there, or Brute face, whatever you want to call it. How many people uh, are a big fan of the Craig? Because I think Craig is going to be cool. <laughs> anyway, he's got some kind of dark brownish tan stuff here for the back of the armor to appear as like some kind of alien leather. And then this part right here is rubber, so that, that can flap around front and back. So it's malleable there. Has uh, the light gray skin tone, some dark um, gray undersuit colors, and then really dark gray, almost black or gunmetal for the legs. He comes with only one shoulder pad, so he has one big red shoulder pad there, and then one silverish metallic thigh pad there. So it's not a mistake, he doesn't, he doesn't come with a full set of armor. And he comes with what is right now labeled as rifle. I think it's gonna be some kind of brute shot, but we still don't know yet, so I do like the mold on it though, it looks really good. And he too comes with one of those figure stands. Now let's move on to the grunts. So this set comes with two grunts. The first one is labeled as a grunt conscript, and then the second is a grunt imperial. So the conscript is sort of the old bungee era, basic covenant kind of grunt look with the um, methane pack in that kind of triangle shape there, and then he has the gas mask on front. Dark tan skin color for him there, and they both come with a dark red plasma pistol. Same pl plasma pistol mold we've had for a while. Uh, they haven't changed it yet, it's sort of the Reach design. Then the Grunt Imperial has a different kind of pack, more of a bulbous kind of shape there. And he has a helmet, which is fixed onto his head, so the head and the helmet is the same piece. He doesn't have a regular Grunt helmet under there. And he's got the same skin tone. And again, they both come with those nice little figure plates that I actually enjoy. I think they're great. You can have anything stand up, however which way you want. Like you can have them running away like that, or standing like that. Let's move on to that ghost. So here's the vehicle of the set, the Banished Ghost. It's got some decent details in there. This canopy is all one piece there, but you do have some clipped in spots for the added armor. So if you wanted to, you could take that off and have it be more of a uh, traditional ghost. It is a little tricky to get off. It just pegs in through that hole right there, but then it has a more slim kind of traditional ghost look, albeit a little stubby on the front. Put that back in, give it that extra armored look. The fins too have some silver on there, and this is printed, so that red portion is the same piece as that silver portion there, so it's one piece printed, and it lines up really well. It's a great print job there. You have the little spikes coming out the front as well, and two shooters with actuators on the bottom with these little red things there that shoot out. Those go pretty far, and you get six of these little yellow bolts so you can reload that thing twice after shooting it once. 
which is pretty cool. Comes with a little control yoke here, which can turn. No display on the inside. And just a little bit of a backrest here. Little translucent piece there to help hold it up. You can put a figure in this and you kind of just get him on there and clip his hands onto the controls and he's good to go. He's in that ghost, kick his feet up and it's the hijack ghost so obviously the Spartan took control of this thing and he's going to use it against those banished baddies. And overall I think it's a nice little ghost. It could be a little better but for a $10 set and you're getting four really good figures, I think it's decent. I think it's okay. I would have liked to have a display in there, but you know, other than that, I think it looks good. I think they did the back really well. Usually, sometimes when they do these ghosts, I think just the backrest area just doesn't look right to me, but I think this one looks pretty good. Maybe on the little thin side, it could probably thicken these up, but other than that, I think it looks good. Underneath uses one big chassis piece, which is a, it's a nice piece to have. You could probably use it to do other things. But it is, just to let people know, that is a specialized chassis piece going all the way through, so it's not like built up with a bunch of tiny pieces, and you also have this specialized piece. But, I mean, I'd like to see someone try and get that shaping out with just bricks, which I'm sure you can, but, you know, I think that looks better. So that covers it for the Ghost. So that's the Halo Mega Constructs Halo Infinite Hijack Ghost set from 2020. I think it's a overall good set for $10, $10 in the US, you get your money's worth, you get four really good figures, and you get a nice little vehicle which has a good shooting function, and plenty of extra ammo if you, you know, for kids who want to play with it or just in case you lose them, right? That about covers my thoughts on this set, I think it's a great little cheap set, you know, if you want to get a good Spartan, good ghost, you know, good grunts, all of them, it's pretty good. So that about covers that for this. Thanks for watching. We're going to end this off with a few snapshots and see you guys again soon.